Hey, Russ. How do you feel about tying women to logs in a sawmill that are floating towards a comically oversized saw blades? Generally, uh, I'm against it, but I reserve the right to hear specifics. Why? Well, how about leaving women bound and gagged on train tracks as the train barrels towards them? This feels like you're segueing into something. Have you been reading my browsing history? Is our sponsor ExpressVPN? Am I being punked? According to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, a Platteville police officer pulled over Yureni Rios Gonzalez in Weld County near Highway 85 and County Road 38 after an alleged road rage incident involving a gun. That's when two Fort Lupton police officers arrived at the scene and placed Rios Gonzalez in the back of the Platteville officer's car, which he had parked on the railroad tracks at the crossing. That's right, Jim. And just like when you watch Bruce Wayne's parents walk into the alley literally named Crime Alley for the 70th time because Warner Brothers still thinks there's somebody out there that's new to Batman origin story. You just know some shit's about to go down. While the three officers were searching Rios Gonzalez's pickup truck for weapons, a train horn can be heard in the background. As it gets closer, the officer who stopped Rios Gonzalez realizes the car is on the tracks and is heard saying, Oh my God! As another begins yelling, Stay back! My hot pocket's in there. What happens next is what happens when a police cruiser, a train, and a suspect of improper exhibition of a weapon love each other very much. Now, under no circumstances are we trying to downplay what happened here. Absolutely not. But what we are saying is that maybe, just maybe, if someone hadn't pulled a gun out in traffic, allegedly, right, allegedly traffic, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Play stupid games? Get hit by a train.